hello thank you so much for being here if you're new to this channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back guys I'm a little my voice is a little bit husky today I was with my grandbaby over the weekend he have a cold since he's in school he's always coming home with a little cold so I think I picked up whatever he had so I have a little cold today so excuse the voice okay today I want to make with you some trout. I have some fish over here. It's trout is about two, almost three pounds. So I'm gonna show you today how I make this trout. It's gonna be a really cute dish, guys. You're gonna love it. Over here, I have a lot of things in front of me. So, you know, bear with me and I'll show you exactly as we go along. I try to prepare everything ahead of time, guys because I don't want the video to be too long. I don't want to bore you. So we have my trout here. It is nice and clean. And I have some paper here that I dab it dry to make sure all the water was out of it. So you can go ahead make sure you clean it and then just dab it like that. Now I have my knife here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some slices in the trout. Have you noticed that this trout look almost like salmon? Actually, it looks like salmon, if you, but it's not salmon, it's trout. So we make some nice little slices in there, like that, okay? So well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I have over here and I put everything in this one bowl. So I'm gonna have to separate a little bit, but I have some garlic in here, guys. Let me just take my garlic out. I have some garlic in here. The bowl is kind of small, I know. And I'm going to take this garlic that I have. Hopefully you can see. I want you to be able to see. We're going to take some of this garlic. I'm going to put it between, just between, just like that. Between the slices that you've made. Just stick the garlic inside of that. All the way to the bottom. You're going to stick some garlic in it. Okay. Stick it inside like that. Yes. Now you can also take, I have, I sliced up my onions and I'm going to stick some onions there too. Stick some onions. The onions is not, depends on how big you cut the onion, it probably won't go all the way inside. That's okay, just stick it in like that. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do, guys, after we get our onion to stay put, you, know, you break your onion, you can break them a little bit smaller and stick them inside, okay? And after I've done that, the next thing that I'm going to do is, the next thing I'm going to do is I have a bowl over here, right here. And in this bowl, I'm gonna put a few things in this bowl, okay? I have here a little garlic powder. I'm gonna pour that in there. I have a little uh, parsley flakes. Let's pour that in there. I have some onion powder. We're gonna pour that in there. This is a little white pepper. Over here, we have some paprika. We pour that in there. And I have here a little bit of Bajan pepper sauce. Let me get a spoon. I have a little bit of Bajan pepper sauce. This is my Barbados pepper sauce. Because you know in Barbados we have a unique pepper sauce and people tend to flavor the food sometimes with that. So I put a little pepper sauce in there. I also have a little Bajan seasoning. This is our seasoning that we made with onions and scallions and all the good stuff. We have a recipe online if you wanna know how to make that. I'm gonna put this all together. And in here I have some olive oil. I'm gonna pour some olive oil to that. I'm not putting any salt. Let me just put a little bit more. I'm not putting any salt to that, guys, because all these spices, the spices that I'm using already have a lot of salt, a lot of sodium inside of them. So I'm not gonna add salt, but after um, the fish is done, if some person want additional salt, they can add additional salt, okay? So now with this in here, we're gonna blend this all up well together. I think I'm gonna add, I have like half a cup of olive oil 
in here. That's about as much as I had in here. So I'm gonna put a little more to that and mix it up like that really well. So this is what we're gonna season our fish with, guys. So once you've done that, I have a little brush here. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put this all over my fish. You're gonna brush it on. So now what I'm going to do, which I should have done before, I have a pan here. I'm going to put this, set this aside for a second, make some room. I have a big pan here that this fish is going to hold into the pan, okay? So what I'm going to do is take this, this some more of the olive oil that I was using, and I'm just going to put it to the bottom of the pan. And you could just take your hand and just kind of go over just to make sure the whole bottom get some of your oil okay like that and once you've done that push this aside some more once you've done that now I'm gonna take some lemon here and I'm gonna put some lemon hopefully you can see the bottom of my pan here I'm gonna put some lemon to the bottom of the pan Put some lemon to the bottom of the pan and I'm going to take my fish and I'm going to because I don't want to season let me just move this I don't want to put all the spices on the fish here and then it run out on the counter so once <clears throat> I did that I'm not quite done yet I just wanted all the flavors to stay in the pan and not outside of the pan I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a little more oil in here. And mix this up well, guys. You can go in between where you put your onions and your garlic. You can go and just drop a little bit down in between there. Make sure all over, get some other spices like that. Okay. And that's that. That's your fish right there. That's your trout. And this um, lemon, we're gonna put all, make sure it goes underneath. All right, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is I have some onion here. I'm gonna take some of this onion, and I'm also gonna put it underneath with the with the um, lemons under there. Just make like a little bed for them to lay on under there. Just a plain onion, just like that. And just lay lay it on the bed like that. Now, over here, I have some potatoes. This is the orange potatoes. This is already cut up, and this is the way I cut it, guys, because fish does not take a very long time. This fish should probably only take, it's going to take 10 minutes to cook. This, finish, this fish would take 10 minutes to cook in the oven, but I'm going to put the potatoes in, which means I'm going to give it 20 minutes, okay? So right here, you cut your potatoes small, like this that way they will cook quickly all right so now what I'm gonna do with the potatoes is I'm gonna lay the potatoes along at the side that's where you put your olive oil in there and I'm gonna lay the potatoes down I also have this rustled potato as well here that I sliced thin as well so we're gonna lay some of them on the side over here So these potatoes should not take long to cook at all. Over here, I put the Russell potato, the white potatoes, on this side over here. That's it. 
and once you lay that out you could take whatever of your that is left over and just go unfortunately I didn't make enough here I don't think I may have to make some more for the next batch which I will and just dab the remaining on your potatoes just to season them up a little bit just to season it you don't need to put a lot on it just enough for your brush okay so once you've done that, I'm going to take a little more of my olive oil and just put a little olive oil over the potatoes, over the fish. Wonderful. That'll help them to cook nicely. And then, so all together I use like one, say three fourth of a cup because I added some more to this. So three fourth of a cup of um, olive oil. And I have a couple pieces more of lemon over here. Oop, there's a little seed in here. Take that seed out. And then you just put a little more layer of lemon up here. So we can have the lemon in there. And that is it. So now I'm going to put some foil over this and put this in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to come back and I'll show you what I'll do next. Hey guys, I just took the fish out of the oven, so let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. There it is. Okay, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, the potatoes are cooked, but it took a little longer than 20 minutes. I ended up leaving it there for 40 minutes because these potatoes took longer to cook, so I put them in for extra 20 minutes, okay? So now... We're gonna add our vegetables. We don't want to add our vegetables too early because we don't want to overcook the vegetables, okay? So be careful touching that because it's hot. I'm saying be careful touching that like if you're here to touch it. So let me, these are my peppers. So what I have here is some pepper, some orange pepper, some red pepper, and this is some zucchini. So I'm gonna place them along here, along the sides. So they can go ahead and cook as well because we don't want to fully cook the vegetables. You know how you cook your vegetables. A little bit crunchy. Put our peppers in there. And I also have over here some tomatoes. And we're going to put some tomatoes on there as well. And the top. I have some more of my, I had to make a little more guys because this is a pretty big fish and I didn't make enough so I made some more. So I'm just going to go ahead and top it off with a little more of this, these spices right here, just to flavor up everything, make sure everything is nice and flavorful. guys so I'm gonna put this back in the oven leave it in there for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out and taste it and tell you exactly what it tastes like so I'll be right back okay guys here it is it is all done good and healthy meal that you can serve your family anytime. Okay guys, so now let me taste it. Looks good. Lots of vegetable guys. Nice way to eat. So let me see. Let's take some of the um, fish over here. This is trout. Slice the piece off. 
as if I can get it up without breaking it up into pieces. Let me get something else to take that up. No matter how I take it up, I'm going to bring it up. But that's okay. Let's take a couple pieces of potato. And a couple pieces of zucchini we have here. And let's take some of the orange potato over here on the other side. A couple pieces. And guys, this is my plate. I want to taste it for you, tell you how it tastes, because there's a lot of spices that was on there. Remember, I didn't add salt, and this is the garlic here that I put in between there. If you don't want to eat the garlic just like that, you can put the garlic to a side because you know the garlic is cooked, so all the flavor has weight inside of that. So let me taste the fish. This is a starter shell. So that's what I call a well seasoned fish. It's a little bit spicy. There's no salt. So if you want your salt shake and you want to put a little bit of salt over it, you can do that or you can add salt to it while you're cooking it. But let me taste it again. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's delicious. This is a lot of fish right here. This is, um, as I said, almost three pounds. It depends on your family and how big your family is. You don't have to cook the whole thing. You can slice it up and put some in the freezer or leave some for the day after. Guys, I had fun making this. I hope you have fun making some for your family as well. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. Until next time, bye-bye.